fucking sleep here. Keep the noise down, will ya? Oi. Big up, gay baby 12. I'm baby. Metro booming wants some more. Oh, no. Emphysema ass bitch. Perhaps. Put your fucking clown shoes on. Nuts. Hey, I am hey, not only the clown, hey, but the entire yeah, circus. Hey, Imagine yeah, speaking a language hey, called yeah, cum rag. Hey, yeah. Gay baby 12 on the beat. Gay baby 12. Uh, hold on. Uh, looks like it's a uh, public property, mate. No entry. Firearms in use. Uh, probably best we don't go down there. <laughs> no harm, dude. Let's go on, dude. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Firearms in use. I love firearms. It's all right. We've got two handguns oh, here. Massive fan. Yeah, snap. <laughs> you got a handgun on you as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got any in the line in the jacket there? I can't really. Go on. Go on. Show the vlog, mate. I can't really get out. Go on. Get it out. Okay, Show the vloggers. <laughs> Ooh, sneaky. Right. I'll see you there, yeah? With a mentality that's alien to me You'd be surprised to deny the similarity <laughs> Wow, so here you find us deep in the, uh, the outer Hebrides of West Sussex It is really quite spectacular, the brickwork late constructed in the 40s by Cecil Bigsby and Albert Pike uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just been here. It's leaving me breathless right now. Yeah. Wow. Just, I'm just in awe. Absolutely speechless right now. Know much about the history of the place? Or? Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> Obviously, they've done some sort of repairs here recently. Yeah, could have blended in a bit nicer. But craftsmanship is, is of a caliber I've never seen. Speechless. So there you have it guys, here it is, built by Jenny Sprocket in the late 50s. A, a masterpiece, a, a, a diamond in a rough. And uh, Cecil Bigsby's late 15th century wooden architrave piece. You've got the semi-arch wide soffit, You've got the feather down fascia and you've got these great, you know, late Greek originals. I'm standing at 10 foot each, nearly the size of my penis. Great. And here you have it, the womb of Babylon, the, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the, the very, very well known, renowned piece from Balthazar the Oracle, hand built in the mid 50s laced in semen and hemp leaf. This is really quite something. So I've been sitting here for quite some time, just sitting here marvelling at the brickwork and I've come to realise that I have no idea how they would have done it. It's, it boggles the mind. Things I could answer for you. This was actually built by Tartarians. 17th century brickwork shipped in from Newcastle upon Avon. And what we see here is really just a marvel of man made monuments in the late 1900s. Wow. Each brick carried and hand laid with squirrel jizz. And just the way it's crafted, you can really see that the way the semen settled, settled in quite perfect into the ceramics and the sort of architecture here in the, in the upper loop. 
Hello again, welcome to all my wonderful viewers watching and welcome to the Oosa Valley Viaduct. Here standing in front of me is the most beautiful pieces of craftsmanship that I have seen in quite some time now. If you just look around, this is a very, very special place. The architecture on here is absolutely brilliant. The magnificence of it really outstands me. I'm, I'm literally standing here. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> You've got to check this guy out. He's going to be on BBC Six in the next few months. And all you journalists better run because this guy's coming for your money. And right there, that's the Gatwick Express, the 745 going to Chiswick from um, Oakley train station. Should get in at about 245 on platform four if you want to catch it. But anyway, back to where we were. Sorry, Michael. Sorry, I'm just getting quite hot right now. I must take off my blouse. Yeah. Bear with me. Thank you. Right, take care. Cheers, mate. guys one of the the seventh wonders of the world the the ooze valley viaduct the the balcon butte some would call it the taj mahal of sussex some would call it the lean and tower of pisa of surrey somewhere sat in the heart of hampshire it really is something to dive source 37 arches 30 foot wide each and um 1500 meters long this one really stands in <laughs> quite something each pier contains a jacked arch with a semi-circular soffit that is really something to die for. <laughs> Coming in at 38 foul this one when it was first built, but in this day and age we're looking at 3.3 milli. Originated in the lodge of um, Clackett Lane oh, Services. This was hand built by Cecil Bigsby and um, it was built for transporting baby fish in the late 70s some of the uh, wealthy oligarchs and it's really quite something spectacular brickmanship Tartarian architecture came in the early mud floods of the late 1920s just as David uh, David Seaman was getting his monarch badge and getting the knighthood of a 64th degree so much history enriched in this this very bit of brickwork we see here okay baby 12 walk into the garage and pick up my head's trimmer walk out see my wife call her a trimmer go yeah. into the hatch about to make it simmer gonna um, cut it down with my head's trimmer rah, 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 yeah. as I cut down the head. Uh, episode two where lucifer falls to falls to his demise in the donut shop this is literally that bridge out of the second scene where it's really quite something if you if you listen closely now that's the, uh, the train going to platform three quarters hand smeared with balthazar's jizz as he came of age into the sars extraterrestrial renaissance of the 16th century based on a story actually by charles sinclair about a young forager a young forager who used to go through loopholes just to find his true essence in the peach valleys of silicon city built on the shoulders of giants just a stone's throw away from the masonic lodge of originally meant to be a replica of stonehenge do you agree i definitely agree How long 
have you been bloody waiting? Yeah, I've got to crack a car now, mate. At least an hour. <laughs> fucking hell. It makes me sick. Fucking train surface these days. Originally built for um, trafficking ferrets from Brighton to Chiseldine High Street. He's an original killer with a mentality that's alien to me. You'd be surprised to deny the similarity. I miss the Lucifer. Will now produce for your Alicia, his neighbor with the highlights. Oh, it's never Maori. Now come here, me little Jackie. Now I've smoked me backy. Let's have some cracky till the boat comes in. And you shall have a fishy on a little dishy. You shall have a fishy when the boat comes. And the way it resonates, there's really something quite special about the way it echoes in this very viaduct. Just listen to this, sometimes it rings out for longer than I know, 30 seconds, listen. Echo! echo, 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 echo. echo! Wow, yeah. Some solid migration on that. Really quite something. Delightful. Thank you.